Hey guys, we got a really cool home here at Timberline we're going to show you. We're in Anniston, Alabama, and they have agreed to give us a sneak peek at one of their new homes that's going to be a really hot seller for 2023. We're going to go in and take a look at the honeysuckle. We're really excited. Now, again, sneak peek, they don't have this thing completely staged yet, so there's no furniture here. You may see some construction supplies, but we're going to get a look inside before anybody else does. Let's come in and take a look. And immediately when you come in, you're met by this beautiful, large living room area. And it opens up into the kitchen area. Let's just pan around and take a look at everything real quick. Absolutely beautiful. Now they got some of it staged, it looks like. Just not everything. We're gonna walk in here. I really like what they did with that uh, light from the ceiling there and the tray. Or is that a vault? I don't know. I think it's trade ceiling. And then we've got a place for your TV. You know, Brandon and I, we like our spots for our big screen TVs right there above the fireplace. And then you have your master bedroom back to the right there and the master bath. And we'll go take a look at that last. Save the best for last. But look right there. I'm already looking into the kitchen and I see something that's caught my eye right out of the gate. It's that big side-by-side -side refrigerator. That thing is massive. That is the biggest one I've seen in a home yet. We'll open that up here in a second. But you've got your dining room table right here along with your patio. So you can go right back out and uh, Check on your grill if you need to, if you're outside grilling. Large island here, long island. You could get, I'd say they've got four seats here. I bet you could get five. And we're gonna pan back around and you've got storage it looks like under the island on this side. Recessed on the other side so that you can put your stools under. You've got your lighting hanging down. Now they don't have light bulbs in those yet, but uh, I can imagine that having beautiful decorative lighting and we're going to pan back through the kitchen, but I know you guys want to open this thing up. I do. Look at this. Oh, wow. This thing is huge. This is double the size of the one I've got in my home. And all you people always talking about wanting a freezer. Well, you got plenty of freezer space, but don't worry. I think there's space in this one too for another freezer if you need one. Wow, look at that. That is impressive. And it's built in here. That is a huge space. That's seriously double uh, what you'd see, at least double, possibly triple what you'd see in most homes. Absolutely incredible. And you've got your industrial style pull down faucets that you guys know that I like because I get stuck on dish detail I can't be the only guy that gets stuck on dish detail come on guys if you if you're with me let me know in the comments and you got your range in your oven there got your exhaust hood I really like what they've done there I like that brick uh, and I'm sure that's faux brick yeah let's I'm 99 percent yeah it is, but uh, that's really nice. And then you've got, uh, looks like drywall throughout as well. Dishwasher to the left of the sink. And we pan back this way and you've got guest rooms there. You've got a restroom there. Uh, again, recessed a little bit away. So it's not, probably can't tell how far it is on the video, but that's a, a good four or five feet back and sitting outside of the kitchen. So uh, we're gonna come back through here though first and take a look at the laundry because I want to show you guys something. We were mentioning about the freezer space and there is freezer space here in this laundry for it. And again, you've got a door that you can come make this your mudroom, shelving, and uh, they've got a door here. They're, again, they're still setting up. So it's part of the construction I mentioned. But you've got space over here on the left for your washer and your dryer. And then you've got 
those nicer shelves above it. And then over to the right, as you pan by this window, you've got a space that you could put a full-size chest freezer right here. The, one of the long ones, if you wanted to, or two of the smaller ones, I guess, up to you. Uh, and you do have hanging space over that. Again, it's not those wire uh, racks that, that you're used to sealing in some of the homes. Uh, and then there's your heating and air return right there. We're not going to open that up because it's partially blocked by the construction stuff. So we're going to go back in. Now let's go and take a look at the guest bedrooms, and then we'll make our way to the master bedrooms and master bath. So we're going to turn into, we're going to call this guest room one. And again, it's got the faux hardwood floors throughout, canned lighting in the ceiling, and also the heating and air is in the ceiling. It's got a much larger than standard uh, window in here as well. I like that. Let's a lot of natural light in. As you can, I don't know if you can hear the echo, but as you can tell, this is a fairly large guest bedroom. And we're going to open this closet door. Take a look in there. Oh, no uh, wire shelving in that either. And it is drywall in the closets as well. So it is that upgraded shelving. I know you guys will like that. Now let's go over here and look at the guest bathroom really quick. And then we'll check out guest room number two. We're just going to step in. I'm going to say hello to the camera. Hello, camera. And you do have one sink here. Storage underneath. Continuing with the faux hardwood floor. Your toilet. And you do have that shower tub combo. And it's not that standard uh, lower end that you would see in some places. Uh, this is a better, larger tub. So that's really nice to see. And then you do have the small slotted window above. I like that as well. And a lot of you guys have, have shared that you don't like windows in your bathrooms. And I understand that. But those are up high. Uh, somebody would have to be on a large building, you know, to see in. And even then, it would be really hard at that angle. So again, you got your mirror. And I do like the way they have... The switches in here are those rocker style. I'm not going to flip it off because we wouldn't be able to see, but it is that rocker style switch. I like that. And we're going to just pan back in. And again, they have a lot of construction supplies in here, so we're not going to be able to walk all the way in. But now it looks like more of a standard window here. But uh, again, uh, you have the lighting in the ceiling there and the can lighting and your heating and air is in the ceiling in this room as it is throughout. Uh, so we're not going to be able to open the closet on that. I would suspect it also has the upgraded shelving if we could open that closet. So let's walk back now. Let's see what everybody is dying to see, and that's the master bedroom and the master bath. And if I didn't show you when we come back through the living room, you have three uh, really nice windows right there as well. And this is the master bedroom. You have one rocker switch as you come in the door to turn on your, your lights. And then you have four canned lights in the ceiling on the corners. You have two heating and air returns, one right uh, just, just before you get to the door, and then one on the far side. Uh, you have two windows in here as well. <clears throat> and again, with Anybody that's looked at any of our tours before will know everybody really likes the heating and air in the ceiling. That way you're not uh, limited to where you put your bed or your furniture. Really nice touch. So again, they are still, this is still kind of under construction. This is a sneak peek. So as you see, some of this is unfinished, but it's gonna give you a look here. And so we're going to turn into the master bath, and this master bath is absolutely massive. We love it. 
Uh, before we walk in there, do us a favor, hit the like button if you're finding value in this video. Our videos are always free and we just appreciate you guys watching and dropping comments for us. That helps us out with the YouTube algorithm more than you possibly know. Also hit that subscribe button if you're not already and hit the bell icon. So let's go on in here. You'll see you have two sinks and then you have storage underneath uh, above your mirror and you do have some separation. So his and hers, you can get ready at the same time. We're going to walk on in. And you have this big walk-in shower. Really like that with the rain head shower overhead. Uh, we're going to pan back around. You do have a window in here. Again, easy fix with blinds. Uh, but you do have the natural lighting. And we have, like I said, the rain head shower overhead. And then you have this faux marble. No, that's that's uh, that's real stone. I thought it was faux, but that's not. Look how thick that is, and you can see the thickness right there. So uh, I I don't think it's real marble, but it is real tile though. That is that is nice to see. And then we're gonna pan back across, and you've got this big garden tub. like that and we're gonna pan back across you've got two walk-in closets in here so you've got a his and a hers so if uh, he has more clothes or if she has more clothes you never know it could go the other way around we're gonna go in we're gonna call this his walk-in closet because this would probably be mine and it does have the upgraded shelving in here as well and thankfully for me, it's got the slotted window there, so I get that natural light, so I can tell the difference between navy and black, because I always mess those socks up. I'll have one navy, one black. It also has the uh, can lighting. You have two can lights on either side of the door here. And we're going to walk back across and go in and see her closet. We're going to call this her closet. And it's got a big uh, mirror here, and it goes almost to the floor and almost to the ceiling there, within just a couple inches of the ceiling and about a foot off of the floor. So you really can stand in the mirror, and you have a mirror directly behind it right here as well. So you can see both sides at the same time. And ladies, you've got your powder room here in your walk-in closet. You could kind of do your makeup here, get ready, do your hair. You could see front and rear of your hair. I know that's a big deal. I grew up with a sister who's a cosmetologist, by the way, so she, she likes her mirrors. And uh, here you have your shelving. You got multiple shelves on multiple levels there. I guess you could put shirts along the top, pants along the bottom, Maybe shoes right up there, I don't know. And you do have natural lighting in your closet as well. They didn't leave you out. And you have actually heating and air inside this closet. Look right there. So you're not going to get too hot in the summer or too cold in the winter. And canned lighting in this room as well. Now, we didn't show the toilet area. I'm going to show you that real quick as we head out here. And then we're going to go back and see just how much this beautiful home is going to cost you. So it is in a water closet, and it's not the little bitty small water closet that you're that you may be used to. So you've got room on both sides. So you've got some elbow room in here. Again, not finished. This they are still setting this up, uh, but you've got your rocker panel lighting here, and you've got the can lighting inside. And we're not going to turn it on because it's loud, but uh, it does have a fan there as well. So let's go out and go take a look at all of this and tell you a little bit more about this home. And again, we are at Timberline. We're on Highway 431 in Anniston, Alabama. And we're going to put the contact information down in the description box below. And so let's go and take a look. Now, again, the pricing we're about to show you, this is at the time that we filmed this home. If you watch this a year or two from now, the prices probably have changed. So uh, it just depends. You'll have to contact these people. We're not affiliated with Timberline or any of the homes that we tour on this channel. Uh, so contact them for more information. 
All right, this is the uh, Timber Creek housing, and the model is CS3233. It is the Honeysuckle three bedroom, two baths, 1,980 square feet of absolute massive living space. And at the time of filming, it's somewhere between $175,000 to $180,000. And again, this is subject to how you customize it and subject to pricing changes based on uh, you know, call building costs and that sort of thing. So again, we're going to put the contact information in the description below. Uh, be sure to contact them and we're going to go right behind if you'll, I don't know if you can see through that glare, there's the office and then right behind that there's another home that you guys are going to want to see. Be sure to check it out and also be sure we're going to do a 360 virtual tour of this home that you just watched in case there's something I missed and you want to watch that. We're going to put that on the channel as well. We'll walk through it again. So be sure to click that subscribe button so you never miss one of our videos. Let's go and take a look at another home.